We begin with this story this hour. The IEC has lodged an urgent appeal to the Constitutional Court. It wants the court to overturn the Electoral Court's judgment that allowed Zuma to contest in this year's elections. The Commission says Zuma cannot be a candidate because he was sentenced to 15 months in prison for contempt of court and wants the Electoral Court to provide reasons for its order. Speaking on this matter, ANC President Suramaposa says that he's confident and proud of the IEC's work and believes that they cannot, they are, and not willing to venture into political arenas. The IEC is an independent uh, entity of our state. And we've been very proud of the work that's been done by the IEC over the years, including now, that the IEC is able to consider matters very, very carefully weigh up the various options. And uh, with this case, I do believe that they've done precisely that. So no individual IEC councillor should be pointed out as having done this or that. It is the entire IEC commission that has taken the decision. And the decision is based, as I heard it and understood it, on bringing clarity to the law so that the Constitutional Court, which is the repository of the entity that should interpret our law so that they interpret the law and give clarity once and for all for all parties and for all time so that is what has driven it and i don't really buy this notion that the iec is venturing into politics the iec is inherently non-political it is independent and we must defend its independence just as we should defend the independence of our courts uh, in our constitutional architecture, we decided that there will be entities that will resolve disputes amongst us. And the courts, and now the IEC, which runs the elections, should be given the opportunity to do precisely that.